Hello there everybody, it's Grandmaster again, and I just wanted to do this little video about this guy. And, um, kind of what I've done with him. Um, so basically, as you can see, he's the old, not really old, but older, Space Marine, what do you call it? Librarian, sorry, I totally spaced there. As you can see, I magnetized that there so he can be posed and all that. He was painted, I just stripped and I stripped all the paint off because I painted him a long time ago, and that's what I love about metal models that you can strip them and with him he's not glued to his base he's just on a little one of those little dowel things but um see so yeah, I glued this arm or uh, magnetized this arm so I have I could take the option for the um, sword a regular option and then I glued I keep on saying glue I magnetized these parts as you can see here there's a magnet right on the end a little tiny magnet I don't know the dimensions but with this little tiny magnet I can glue on the tip of a halberd or magnetize I can use a magnet or a sorry I could use a halberd oh, of course this is for my gray knights I could use a demon hammer or a wording stave. Now, the problem with this arm is it's obviously it's metal and it's very heavy. It will stay on, but if you shake it a certain way, like if I don't get it, there's an exact groove that it has to go in. If I put it like here, it'll fall right off. And of course now it's not doing it. But it's a very weak bond um, between these two pieces, but it works, and obviously going around the table, it's not going to fall off or anything like that. So I just wanted to do this video kind of showing how I magnetize him, and um, because... There's going to be a lot of magnetizing coming up when I get my box set for Wrath of the Hive Mind. And so it's going to be fun. And then I can, and I will definitely post some videos about how I'm going to go about magnetizing all the different parts. And I will leave links to videos from the channels and people that I've seen that I got the ideas from. This is about to be painted in about, I don't know, a little bit. It's going to be painted today. Anyways, I'm going to leave you off there. Just a short little video showing how I magnetized my librarian. And if you like the idea, do it because it's really awesome. I love it. And it would be a lot better if you had the resin one because these pieces are a lot lighter and the magnets would hold definitely. And these little tiny magnets, it was like... It was like a cup, like, I want to say $10 for like 100 of them or something like that. And they're little, actually, no, I think it was cheaper than that. But I got them, we got them off of Amazon.com and they're awesome. So definitely try them out. Sorry, I don't know the names. They're just tiny, tiny magnets, the smallest ones there are. They actually were way smaller than what we expected. So it was kind of a bummer, but we found uses for them, obviously. And so they turned out really nice. Anyways. Tell me what you think in the comments below, and please rate, share this video, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And thanks for watching. See you in the next one.